German-speaking English like this nowadays. You don't seem to have very strong German accents, so that would be quite difficult. And make me say number two, they use they seem to use a German a thrilling R to say R in English, English British, British English is R, American is R, right? Right? You guys sound right. Uh, but to German is R R and R is R R R R. So it's you know they got a blend, they're thrilling, they you know moving their tongue back there. Problems. Because you know what is interesting, according to IPA, the German R R sound is often called a thrilling R because the tongue strikes the plate in the, cup, the plate in a few times in a quick, you know, in a quick walk, just saying, quick succession. In the IPA phonetic uh, alphabet, the German version is of R <laughs> is donated by the symbol of the capital R turn upside down like that, you know. But at the same time, you want the English R, R, on the other hand, produced in a very different way. It's like either the R in American accent or R in the English accent, so different. The mistake number three, okay, go quite fast, quite, quite fast here, then we video not answer the question. It's okay, it's okay, it's so Thank you very much. <laughs> 
So uh, anyway, I might sound German in the end. So anyway, mistake number three, replacing W quite amazingly enough, interestingly enough, because W German, well, one I have, German pronoun W is, is what? It V. Not W, not we, not but V, 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 V sound. So anything that begins or ending with W, there will go V, V. We will show the example later on. It's a kind of example to the next. And then number four mistake is about the voicing English and continents, of course, because like I when the uh, I present in the first place about German alphabet, so there's alphabet, so many like, final sounds like. And 80% of the time, they're final sounds from the last sound, but English, my people are going, right? A, B, C, D, R, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A, F, K, H, there's no final sound at all. None at all, so that, that, that's why they find it difficult to pronounce the final sound, and they replace other things as well. But lots of mistakes about skipping the diphthongs, you know, diphthongs out. Ow, oh you ow. So many German speakers of English have a problem with the diphthongs for the ow. We will show you next why. Because you may have already guessed that the sound doesn't really exist in German. That's why a lot of like vowel sounds and constant sounds don't, don't exist in German language or, or foreign languages, so compared to English, so basically. So that makes a big bigger problem. So I will show the last one now, a box piece, the last, uh, the last video now. This, this answers everything. You will love this one because it's my master and I found this wonderful video only six minutes only. Stay with me okay. and that will be the end of my uh, presentation about this German speaking. Looking forward to it. Thank you, lovely. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. German 
words don't end in voiced consonants. <laughs> this means that final voiced consonants in English may turn to voices. They are devoiced. You can hear the voice sound in drove, fine, moon, and above turn into a voiceless sound. And above all, and above all, above. yes. <laughs> She was Rika, she belonged to a German. Uh, he comes from uh, Austria. 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 <laughs> yeah. Look, very interesting. Up to the end. Up <laughs> to the end. <laughs> the German citizens are the oldest dolomite. Dolomite. Into the right. Yes. Now, at the bow sound, in words like natural language and battle, it's called the trap vowel. They use the it sound. German speakers are likely to change this vowel to an air sound. Air sound. As naturally I can express my thoughts better in my native language. Naturally language. It's an air sound. Petal, not a petal. Maybe A, maybe A. The owl vowel in words like how it and allow is called the mouth vowel. In contemporary British English, the vowel starts from the front of the mouth. Now, the team German the back. German speakers are likely to start this vowel further back which gives the impression of a deeper sound. First of all, I would like to thank both houses of Parliament most mm -hmm. sincerely for allowing me to stand before and lowering me at the, 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 the back, back instead of saying allowing in the front and lowering me at the back. Hello. Of course, there are many others, like R and L sounds, but I can't cover everything in one video. Oh my god. Tell me that. Firstly, the sound system may be different. We saw this earlier with the English nurse sound. That's come to the end of my presentation about to do English and English, if you like. So, thank you so much for your attention. <laughs>